Now, Perth pubs fighting it out for the title of best steak sandwich. For many patrons, it's the meal of choice. But if you're only expecting a steak between two slices of toast, prepare to be surprised. Our own Graham Butler was called upon to help decide which pub kitchen ruled. <laughs> It's an Aussie icon about to be put to the test. Who makes Perth's best steak sandwich? Diners have selected their favourite five. Now the battle for bragging rights is set to begin. It'd just be great to have one more thing, put the trophy up and personal pride also. I'll be balling. <laughs> but will Sam be laughing with his $14 budget buster from Pika Bar? Pretty goddamn cheap at my work. I run it. Low profit margin, you know, it's a little bit of a divey sort of hipster bar, so the kids come through, they chew it up, we also pair it up with a beer, so it seems to sell pretty quick. At the other end of the scale, Merriwell chef Rob is pinning his hopes on the US-inspired Wagyu and cheese. It's provolone cheese, I have a, it's a rump, rump, I shaved it a certain way, so it's shaved meat, so it's a little different than what others are going to do it. Or perhaps the secrets in the chips down at the brook in Ellenbrook. We've gone outside the box, done a rosemary uh, sea salt yeah, hand cut wedges. So hopefully it's a winning factor. At the Boab in High Wickham, Claire's keeping it simple. I think if you get a really nice piece of meat, you don't really want to do too much more than put some salt and some pepper on there. Up in the hills at the Mundaring Hotel, Kevin's hoping it's second time lucky. Last year we did second in the steak and competition, so hopefully this year. I'm going to get the first <laughs> at the top. To decide who makes Perth's best steak sandwich, I'm joined on the judging panel by Tony Vitelli from Lion and Chief Judge Paul Murray from 6PR. And here's how they're judged. Tenderness of the meat, uh, composition and presentation, originality and creativity, uh, the quality of the sides because each chef has to um, present chips or wedgies or something like that with it, uh, the sauces, the flavour, value for money and the overall presentation. And with that, Claire from the Boab is the first before the judges. She's going with barbecue sauce, cheese and bacon. On the sides, she served chips and onion rings. Looks sensational. We saw no onion rings yesterday. We've clearly come to the city. Next up, Kevin from Mundaring. He's going with bacon too. He's using cos lettuce to complement his steak. Well, uh, 180 grand. 180 grand. That's still a decent meal, isn't it? Sam from Pika is hoping his $14 Sanger will impress. He isn't serving any sides, which will cost him points. But he has a secret weapon. The weapon is butterscotch onions, really. Chris from the Brook is using an aged Black Angus rump for his steak sandwich. Robert from the Merrywell is the last finalist to hit the grill and he's going out on a limb. An open sandwich and at $26 it's the most expensive of the sandwiches on offer. All the sandwiches could have been worthy title holders, but there could be only one. There is one point difference today between the winner and the runner-up. It has been very tight. So what I'd like to do now is announce that the winner of the 2013 WA Great Steak Sandwich Competition is the Merriwell with the Brook Bar and Bistro as runner up. An American has stolen the title as winner of the Great Aussie Steak Sandwich Competition. So what's the secret? The complete thing is mushrooms, onions, truffle aioli, uh, provolone cheese, um, balsamic and truffle oil on top with little chives. Just everything play off each other, layers of flavour. So And layers of beef too. Yeah, so yeah. That. Um, it's 200 grams of Wagyu rump. It's the way I, I actually told the butcher how to cut it. So it's like, it's shaved. We, make, we get it a little cold first and then we shave it on a slicer and then that's what it is. So it's a lot of meat and it fills up the sandwich and fills up the person. Graham Butler there, and the winner of the regional steak sandwich was Southerly's Harbour View in Port Denison. It'll put the tiny seaside town on the map for sure.